Hello, thank you for watching this BRE Global podcast about Bream Refurbishment. My name is Gavin Summerson and I'm the Bream Refurbishment Manager. The key messages I'm going to be making, firstly, why is there a step change for sustainable refurbishment of our existing building stock? Secondly, how can Bream Refurbishment add value to this process? Providing a means of measuring outcomes and by supporting better design, continuous improvements, therefore saving money. The current scheme is aimed at domestic refurbishment, but we'll be extending the scheme to all building types shortly. Given our current commitments towards achieving a low carbon built environment, the case for refurbishment is stronger than ever. With current new build replacement rates, the majority of our current building stock will still be in use in 2050. This includes 78% of domestic buildings and 60% of non-domestic buildings. The vast majority of this stock was built prior to the first thermal regulations. The range of our housing in the UK is also very diverse. This poses additional problems for refurbishment, as we need to have a wide range of solutions available that are suitable for different house types. The challenge is very great. To achieve an 80% reduction in CO2 from our housing stock by 2050, we need to bring the average performance of our stock, which is currently at an EPC band D stroke E, up to an EPC band B. The improvement needs to be delivered across our entire stock. We therefore need a step change in refurbishment if we are to deliver refurbishment of our 26 million homes and 2 million non-domestic buildings. The UK government are legally bound under the Climate Change Act to achieve an 80% reduction in carbon based upon 1990 levels by 2050. The BRE Trust report, Energy and Efficiency in New and Existing Buildings, modelled the potential savings we can make from our existing building stock. Looking at an extract from that report, for housing, it is estimated that if we implement all cost-effective measures and have zero carbon new build homes from 2016, we can deliver a 64% reduction in CO2 from 1990 levels by 2050. This shows a big challenge but also a major opportunity for us to tackle the energy efficiency of our existing building stock. So what is the cost of making a step change in refurbishment? According to the IGT Low Carbon Construction Final Report, the cost of delivering a 60% reduction in CO2 from our housing stock is estimated to be in the region of £200 billion, or £5.1 billion a year. This estimate is crudely equivalent to spending £7,500 per house based upon just cost-effective measures on fabric alone. As a comparison, the annual cost can be roughly compared to building a new nuclear power station, which is at the cost of 5.4 billion a year. The current housing refurbishment market is worth 26 billion. However, only a very small fraction of this is spent on energy efficiency. The entire domestic refurbishment insulation market is only 281 million, less than 4% of what we need to spend per annum on improving fabric. To summarise, we need to invest a significant amount in our existing stock, which provides a big opportunity for the UK business. The UK government are looking at how we're going to deliver this, primarily for the Green Deal, due to commence in autumn 2012. Such an investment does carry a lot of risk depending on how those options are selected for refurbishing our building stock. We also need to make sure that we take the opportunity to look at what wider sustainability issues can be addressed. Sustainable development looks at a balance between social fairness, economic viability and environmental degradation. This balance will be key to success if we are to invest £200 billion in our existing housing stock. Bring refurbishment measures progress against achieving sustainable development in the context of refurbishment. This is to help those designing of refurbishments to consider this balance when specifying refurbishment options. Bream Refurbishment is BRE's latest addition to the Bream family of assessment schemes for buildings. It builds on the success of Ecomes XB, which was launched in 2006, as a voluntary scheme for assessment of housing portfolios. Bream Refurbishment provides a certification scheme for individual housing refurbishment projects. It is a method for supporting better design by measuring the outcomes delivered. The scheme works by measuring the progress made from refurbishment. It is an assessment of the refurbishment specification against key sustainability issues. The design is given a rating from pass to an outstanding, showing how far the home's performance has progressed as a result of the work. It is a UCAS accredited scheme and is delivered by an independent assessment, 
giving confidence to the consumer, regulator and investor. The Bream Refurbishment Assessment Process builds upon energy performance certificates. It measures progress from the baseline, incorporating wider sustainability issues such as water efficiency. The intention for the scheme is for it to be Green Deal ready, allowing designs to be accredited to qualify for the Green Deal. Some of the key issues it promotes, moving towards an 80% reduction in CO2, water efficiency, addressing the impacts on flooding, good project management and design. Whilst it is not always possible for refurbishment projects to address all these aims at once, the scheme measures progress towards each of these issues, supporting better design and measuring outcomes. To see how the standard works in practice, BRE have been working with Code for Sustainable Homes assessors to test the standard on a number of pilot projects. The pilot included 12 individual projects, including over 200 homes. This included a wide variety of house types around the UK. The purpose of this was to see how well the scheme works on a variety of property types and refurbishment scales. It was used as a means of testing how well the Bream process works for refurbishments. This is particularly important given the smaller scale of domestic refurbishment compared to some of the other Bream versions. One of the pilots is 52 Whitehorse Avenue in Essex. Carried out by Higgins Construction for Greenfields Community Housing Trust, the project was a whole house refurbishment looking to create an exemplar eco-home. It achieves an 89% reduction in CO2 and the indicative pilot rating is a Bream excellent with a score of 83% under the pilot version. If you'd like further information on this project, you can download the presentation from the Bream website. We also have other projects under the pilot scheme where smaller scale works have been carried out to achieve good and very good ratings, showing how the scheme can work at different scales. The pilot has been very successful in informing us how well the scheme works and we are currently revising the scheme to address feedback and outcomes from the pilot assessments. The scheme is due to be launched in the early summer. Leading up to this, we'll be announcing the transitional arrangements for EcoHomes and providing further details of the scheme's relationship to EcoHomes XB. By certifying the refurbishment and measuring outcomes, this gives confidence to the consumer of what will be delivered. For the Green Deal, this will be particularly important to ensure investment made can be maximised. It is Beery's intention for the scheme to support the government's proposed Green Deal and to build value for this process by measuring the outcomes achieved. We will be launching Bream Refurbishment early in the summer of 2011 to respond to the need for the standard expressed by the market in both private and social housing. As the government announces more details about the Green Deal mechanism, we'll further tune the scheme as a means of qualifying for and supporting the Green Deal. In conclusion, we face a big challenge if we are to improve the performance of our housing stock to meet the 2050 target for an 80% reduction in CO2. What we found from the pilot assessments is that Bream refurbishment can build value to the refurbishment process by measuring the outcomes and helping guide better design. Finally, I'd like to thank you for watching this Bream refurbishment podcast. If you'd like further details on Bream refurbishment, please go to our website www.bream.org. Alternatively, you can contact us by email on bream at bre.co.uk. Thank you.